Today, we witnessed PRTT smashing a 52-week high, almost breaking out above that psychological barrier at $1. So we saw 99.5. It was basically trending all the way above 90, 93 for the entirety of the day. The last 15 minutes, someone dropped the ask and actually filled it at 87, and that is where it closed today. But either way, super excited the way it's been playing out. I've told everyone for the past week, keep your eyes on it. In the Discord, we've called it out for about the past two weeks or so. So somewhere around 60, 70 cents, we've really had it publicly, um, but my eyes have been on it since 40 cents. Now, either way, PRTT is definitely something where it's a sleeper stock. Not many people are caring about it or paying attention to it. I think the smart ones are waking up behind the scenes and realizing that there is something here because this is not your typical stock. It's not a crazy retail-driven stock. It's not a naked shorted stock. It's none of that. It's a slow grind, this slow stair-stepping to the top. It's not intense volume and volatility where the market makers are trying to create that trading there. So this is a really tight supply stock, and that's something where people are not used to. Okay, when we go on the daily chart, I'm really adamant about these moving averages. The 200 day is very important because historically, we've seen what happens when it jumps above. And it's right now testing that level on the weekly chart and also on the monthly. So like I said today, this was a high of 99. The candle most likely, if it didn't get filled last second of the day, it should be something that looks... Uh, something of this nature here. Okay, so this is a really, really strong candle. But not only that, when we look at volume analysis, we see rising price and then week over week rising volume. That interpretation is extremely bullish. Not only that, it's not on a micro frame. It's not a five or a one minute chart. This is a weekly chart. And what's even more impressive is the monthly, which I talked about at 90 cents, this 200 day, which is at 90. I think once we get over there and we start to close and hold above it, that is when we could see it take off. Ultimately, when you zoom out, I think that there's a lot of potential here. I don't think it's just going to snap and go right to $5, but um, I think a, a real good start here is to first reclaim this 200 because we've seen what happened historically when we do that once, it ran, and then again twice. So even though this, this little dip and it ran, same thing, another dip and it ran, we could possibly see that replay. And the big line for me, and I mentioned this in my last video, is right here at this 225 range. So if the price some way, somehow was able to, let's say, you know, week over week, you know, do something like that and get in this range, yeah, I think we could definitely see it take off. But again, there's no news. There's nothing specific in terms of catalyst. I'm just assessing it from a technical standpoint. Again, we know that charts don't paint the picture entirely. But again, when I look over the past three months, what are we noticing? Rising price and again, rising volume, 80,000, 300,000, and then 364 plus. Month over month, this stock is growing. Three months ago, this was a low of 17 cents. So again, from let's say 17 and change to where we were today, 99.5, it's up 400%. So this looks like a stock that's cooking, it's brewing. And I know that for most people, they'll say, well, it's up 100 or two, 300%. Why do I even care about it? Because not too long ago, it was just 40 cents. Then it was 60, then it was 75. Now it's almost at a dollar. And it looks like it's ready to take off. That's just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy or sell. I'm not influencing you in any way. I want you to do your own research and know what you're getting involved in, just like I say in every single video. But me personally, I have bought stock here over the past day or two. I really do think that there's something here. And like I said, I don't say that often. Usually I just talk about stocks, but I actually have taken a small position in PRTT and I do plan to add um, on any of the dips. So again, that's just my two cents. Again, it's not your job to copy me. It's not your job to just buy because I'm buying. I want you guys to be confident in your investment, knowing that if you buy, it has the potential to go down. I always say something that Warren Buffett offers is he said, if you had to buy a stock and you couldn't see what happened for the next year or two, would you be comfortable holding it You know, 12 or 24 months down the line if you weren't able to sell it? My answer here is yes, okay? So again, if you don't feel the same way, if you don't feel comfortable holding it, knowing it can go down or it can go sideways or up and down, whatever, um, then maybe this is not the right one for you. But either way, I just want to shed some light on here. I think there's something brewing. The chart looks fantastic. It looks primed to run. Um, and I just think it's a crime for me not to show you that. So 52 week high hit today. Called this out about 60, 70 cents. So again, you guys let me know what you think below. If there's any stocks you're watching, anything you think I should be, you know, paying attention to, please let me know. I love to, you know, get in on what's hot and what's moving. So again, thank you guys so much for the endless support. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.